hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing some beautiful lisa frank inspired nails i cannot wait to show you guys how i re how i created these um don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new or if you guys have been here for a few times girlfriend why the fuck are you not subscribing subscribe hit the little bell for notifications and leave me a little comment of what you guys thought or what you want to see in the next video because sometimes i do run out of ideas so make sure to give me some ideas in the comments again i'm gonna be going live on monday i think monday this monday coming up i forgot what day it is june something today is friday june 2nd so if you guys would like to watch me live do my nails on monday make sure to turn on your notifications so you guys do not miss my life um i'm gonna be trying to put this video up for tomorrow so for saturday um so yeah if you guys want to come see me do some nail make sure to find me here on youtube it's not going to be on tiktok so i did promise my youtube family um a, one video a month on youtube so please come through because you know we don't got a little group we leave into tiktok so come show up come hang out Ask me some questions and we can giggle and ha 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 he 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 together. So today I'm going to be using my 3XL um, tapered square nail tips. These are new and I am loving them because I love square nails right now. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me, but I'm really digging square nails. And so normally chunky fingers, we, I mean... Square doesn't really compliment us, but you know what? Fuck it, thug life. I'm going to wear the square nail, so I guess tapered square is going to be the closest to something slim on the finger. And I was telling my followers that the tapered square, cause somebody was like, what's the difference between tapered square and square? So tapered square is just a little bit slimmer. Um, It's like if you were to be in between a square and a coffin, but it's more square than coffin. Just in case anybody else was wondering. And I'm going to be doing the same base on all the nails. I'm using Guava. This is one of our newest colors from the Can't Stay With Us collection. So if you guys haven't tried it, I highly recommend these new colors. They're fucking beautiful. This has been one of my favorites so far. I don't know if it's because it's kind of like pinky, but it has a little like orange undertone i don't know i just love it i'm gonna try my best to use all the colors in my next upcoming videos so if you guys would like me to use a specific one from the collection or just any new color whatever you like honey comment below and tell me use this color use this color you know so i could kind of like whip something up and create something beautiful so right here i'm just showing you guys how smooth the application is i i don't know if it's the big brush bitch but we do have some new brushes. As you can see, they are the beautiful unicorn brushes. I'm using number 20. So if you guys have been wanting something that's in between a size 16 and a 24, the number 20 is for you, honey. Okay? Because for me, the size 24 brush is way too big. It's too big for me. I cannot really control the product. I feel like it's like driving a fucking truck when you just started driving a car type of thing, you know? And so um, we just got these beautiful brushes. We have them in size 16, size 20. We also have a 30 mm liner brush and a 3D number four brush. So make sure to grab one because they're limited. We will not be restocking. And if we do restock them in the future, probably just the size 20 because that one is my favorite but i don't know if they will still have them available and so right here i was showing how my middle finger is crooked because somebody was like oh your nails crooked and i was like yes i know i know i know my finger goes that way honey but i try to put it the opposite way so my finger turns twist to the right so i put it to the left so that when i turn my finger and i'm looking at it in the customer view is straight although my finger twists to the right excuse me I do not want my whole fucking finger and nail to twist with it. Then now there's people who be like, yeah, I want mine to go like that. I don't want it to go the other way. But Zule wants it to appear like it's straight from one, some point of view. Okay. Um, let me know in the comments. How do you like your nails? If you have a crooked finger, 
Do you want your nail to go the same way as your nail and look hella like it's going to the left or to the right? Or do you want to fix it? Make it look like it's kind of straight type of thing, you know? I'm curious. So see how over here, it my finger is going to the right, okay? Pero, I don't know. I don't know if you guys understand me. But anyway, let's get back to this application. Zule has been going a little faster. I don't know if it's the colors I've been using that they just dry a little bit faster or the brush i don't know girl but i whipped these nails so quick i was like okay honey so the application is the actual speed okay um even though i did go a little bit faster for zule speed because some of y'all gonna be like bitch you still slow like girl i don't go fuck but it's fast for me okay i finished these nails it still took me a long time but you guys will see the detail um, when I start adding like the nail art is what takes me the longest. So I'm what I'm trying to do is speed up my application and have the time, like the extra time on my designs. Okay. So I'm so proud of myself. Yesterday I went live and you guys will see this video probably next week or so. I did two hands in the same time. I normally do one set like what the hell? What the hell, Zuley? What the hell? So definitely, I feel like this number 20 brush is about to be my BFF, okay? And so I only left you guys um three fingers for you guys to watch the acrylic application because I know a lot of people do like to see the, the full process, right? Especially for like long nails. I don't know. It's satisfying. I like to watch acrylic get laid and all of that. And so here are your three dedos. I did skip the thumb. And then the ring finger, I was like, eh, whatever. Nobody cares for the ring finger, whatever. And no, I'm just kidding. It's not like specific fingers. I just chose random. And then we're going to get into the, into the nails. So, how's everybody's day doing today? I feel like I've been rapping for like seven minutes. Seven minutes, honey. Seven minutes. <sighs> I can't believe it's already June. I cannot believe we are mid-year girlfriend oh my god where is time going um so just in case you guys are wondering like what inspired this design um growing up i always liked the, the little um lisa frank merch you know like the little folders and the little everything but i don't recall ever having it like owning any of it um but I do remember seeing it in the stores or like little other little girls having it. So for me, I was like, mm, maybe I should do a Lisa Frank inspired nail set because there's two things that I like about it. I was like, I love the neons. I love the color. I love bright. So starting today or starting in June right now, I'm going to be bringing you guys more neon colors. Um, I know not everybody is into like the go bright, go home type of thing. So I'm going to try to incorporate a few little neutral designs as well. Um, like we did release a new bridal collection as well. So if you guys are more in the basic bitch level, I'm nah, just kidding. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being basic. Okay. I told Jefe that he would be a basic bitch. If he was a girl, he'd be a basic girl because he likes like classy shit, you know? like nude stuff frenchies like like you know what i mean right i like the whole bling bling go big go home chaton situation and he doesn't really care for it so it's okay there's um everything for everybody but that's why we made a collection for you guys because normally the nudes are for you guys right the nude nail colors or the pinks or whatever but this time i made a collection for those of you guys who like like toned down colors but with a little bit of glitter, you know, because for me, if I were to get married again, I definitely would like glitter shebang bling nails with a bunch of flowers. That's pretty much what I got married with on my nails. But they also look really pretty on their own. So I'm going to be doing a nail design in the near future for all my future brides, soon to be brides, or just for some reason in June. Um, I find myself doing a lot of like pink and white ombres or like 
those color tones nudes like what the hell are we supposed to be using bright ass colors but then again i remember not everybody likes bright shit so and that's okay that's okay so uh, also let me know in the comments do you like bright colors or neutral colors or do you like pastels what do you wear in the summer on your nails typically what do you wear in the spring and summer because i personally don't really fuck with like pastels they're pretty and everything but i just can i i don't know i feel like a bad bitch with some bright colors but yeah <sighs> okay take a little deep breath today's been a lazy day i'm currently watching um what is it called game of thrones i'm so addicted guys i'm so addicted to game of thrones that's like all i've been doing recently because it's so good if you guys haven't watched game of thrones i recommend it you're gonna be watching your tv it's a little nasty when they kill people and stuff because it's so bloody but overall i really like the show so this pinky is almost done i did go ahead and trim off the filing part so i hope nobody was looking forward to that because i was like you know what the day that i did this live we did play some music in the background because um sometimes um i need a little bit of energy like even though i drink coffee and stuff during my lives but i feel like the the color the the lines the everything just needed a little i don't know a little motivation a little positive vibes not that it's never positive vibes in my life they're always amazing but um i don't know we need a little pump of energy and the music normally does that for us right and <clears throat> so i did take about three hours as usual you know porque con el chisme it takes forever honey and I was not going to put this on YouTube. I had already told my followers, you know what? I'm not going to put it on YouTube because normally when I play music, I do not want to edit it. It is a pain in my ass to edit. So you're welcome. <laughs> um, nah, I, I don't really mind it, but sometimes I just don't have the time to edit the video because I have to um, um, watch the video all over again and then trim certain areas and then obviously do a voiceover i don't really like to put music on my videos and i know somebody's gonna be like well you don't have to talk throughout the whole video but like i mentioned in the past i personally do not like to watch videos when they're quiet like ma'am i'm bored already hey <laughs> so i feel like i have to kind of like talk like in a live you know like entertain and i feel like that's why a lot of you guys come to watch the lay because not only do I educate you with something, but I entertain you at the same time, right? And we do nails together because we be hanging out, okay? So if you guys are doing your nails and watching Zulay, hey girl, we, we doing nails together. Um, and so I don't like to just be quiet or just play music because in the past I have played music in my videos. Like when I just started my YouTube channel. That was cool and everything, but the problem with that is even though the music is free, as they say, it's free for you to use and not be copyrighted or whatever. Later on down the line, it gives me a copyright, um, like a notification or whatever. So then it becomes a problem. So what that means is in the little money that I were to make off the video from you guys watching the ads and all of that, I the money will go to whoever the music is from, you know? And they totally deserve to get paid, but it's like, why you tell me it's free and then all of a sudden it ain't? Like, what the hell, you know? So I'm like, e, como que no. Mejor no, because I'm taking my sweet time to make these videos and in order for me to be able to make more content, buy more nail stuff and all of that, well, Zule needs to get get a little money to keep going you know because this is my job and i do love my job but <sighs> sadly the bills don't stop you know so now it's time for the frenchies and i do appreciate everybody that watches all my little ads that come up in your in your videos um thank you guys for not skipping them 
um don't forget to give me a like and a thumbs up if you guys haven't already done so so make sure to always give the video a like i know some of you guys watch it on the tv and so you kind of forget but um give it a little like as a little i don't know like motivation for delay to keep uploading now um i'm gonna be using my number 21 gel polish i'm just gonna be using gel polishes today i was in between my painting gel and the gel polish just in case you guys are like well why why did you use that versus that let me tell you why okay so normally for my frenchies i like to use my painting gel um, because it's a lot more full coverage and it's a little thicker consistency and it does not bleed okay the our white gel polish doesn't bleed either that's why i decided to use that and because i'm gonna be using layers and layers of gel if i used um the painting gel to do my french since it's a little bit thicker the shape would end up a little a little meshed up you know like it'll be extra bulky and you guys will see in the video how many damn layers of gel i pack onto the nail and again i'm not a professional with gel polishes and stuff like that like i'm still learning to do gel designs and so that's why i decided to do this specific design using gel polishes as well so if you guys do not work with acrylic you guys can achieve this look also okay and right here, I am just applying a base coat on the nail because it is very important that you put a base coat on your acrylics, gels, whatever the hell you're doing um, before your gel. I know a lot of people are like, well, nothing happens if I don't put base coat. Yeah, sometimes nothing does happen. But if you have been having problems with your client's gel chipping or anything like that it could be a reason you need the base coat for a reason and at the same time if you notice when you use um your base gel um the gel glides on super super smooth and some people be like oh check out this hack check out this hack like no bitch it ain't no fucking hack it's you're supposed to do that that's a proper steps all the time when you use gel polish you do base coat honey okay so I applied the rubber base clear um, base coat on the nail on all of them. And then I'm using my two-in-one liner brush. This one is my ultimate favorite brush for Frenchies, for lines, for whatever the fuck you want to do. I always gravitate towards this brush. It's just a must-have. If you guys don't already have it, I highly recommend to go get one. Um, it's available in black and it is also available in rose gold so check it out it's so pretty so i went ahead and did the thumb again off the camera well i did it on live but i was like i'm not gonna show you guys all that many times so let me show you guys how i like to do my frenchies and again i'm not the best of the best at this but i've been practicing my frenchies for at least a year now and they have came a long way so if you guys have been watching my old videos you guys will definitely see the improvement from girl like two years ago like what the hell i was like shaking like a little leaf when people would ask me to do a french because i did not know how so this is how i do it i like to outline the sides of the nail and you're gonna ask why do that or right, whatever um it's because that's gonna sh guide me on how deep i want the french and so i've been into the deep frenches so i'm just gonna kind of guide myself and then the little line that I drew at the bottom is how deep you want the fringe. And so that's how deep I want it. And I'm just going to curve it to the the thin fringe. So depending on how sh what shape you want, you're going to want an oval, pointy, or whatever. That's So that's right what you're now you guys will notice that the deep fringes are popping and they're really popular. I mean, I personally like the deep fringe. I don't really like the round ones, but again depending on the length the round ones look better than the deep um but it's totally preference whatever you like honey whatever tickles your pickle and so after i have outlined the nail is not perfect at all i'm just gonna fill it in and then i'm gonna go in with my liner brush and kind of perfect it a little bit more and the pinky is kind of tricky to kind of draw on so oh, i fucking hate the pinky i fucking hate you pinky but you know you're cute you're cute i try my best and so 
this is another reason why I like to do Frenchies with gel too. Because if I mess up, you could just clean it right up. But you know what, girl? I didn't have to clean almost nothing. I was like, oh, Zule, you play, honey. You're getting good, good. And our white gel polish is very pigmented, okay? Now, I would probably put a second coat if this was just a regular French. But as you guys can see, the coverage is pretty darn good. Um, and the layer is very thin. So whenever you guys are working with gel, make sure to paint them um, as thin as you can because you do not want your gel to wrinkle on the lamp. So if you guys ever had that problem, because people always ask me in different lives, like, why does my gel wrinkle? Or why do I have bubbles? Or da 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 da, -da whatever. That just means that you applied too thick and your, or your lamp does not, um, like it's weak. Like it doesn't cure your gel fully. So it's really important that you always apply in thin layers. Even if you have to do two or three coats, just do thin. So each layer of your gel cures fully and all the way. Because the last thing you want is for that gel to start wrinkling. Because then you're going to have to take it all off and do it again. And that is embarrassing. Especially when your client be like, what is it? You know, and that's the last thing you want to do, girlfriend. Because that's happened to... All of us in the past, okay? So, I mean, I thought it was kind of embarrassing when my client told me because I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing. I was like, girl, I don't know. Did you not stick it in the lab? Or whatever, you know, that was my first idea. But it's because I was layering it too fucking thick and I didn't fucking know that. But now you fucking know. And so we're going to cure this in the lamp for 60 seconds. Sometimes I do 90 seconds just in case my finger was not in there properly. And for the base of our colorful nails, I'm going to be using our full jelly collection. Um, this collection um, has a little bit of glitter, but as you guys can see, you cannot see it. It is super, super fine where you won't really be able to, like it doesn't show glitter. Like it does sparkle a little bit, but very, very subtle. And so these gel polishes are jelly and that's why I felt these would be the perfect colors the camera does not show them exactly as they look like in person they look more like watercolor vibes on the camera but in person they do not look like that and so if you guys have any jelly gels and you've been wanting to use them for a long time but you just felt like they were not popping or anything like that well now i'm showing you a way how you guys can use your jellies if you use them over a nude color or a white color or whatever, um, they will show more full coverage. They will not be jelly, but they won't be like a, a super opaque color either, which is what is really cool and fun about these colors over like acrylic. So you can put them to use now. If you guys have not been able to use your shit because you're like, girl, I don't know what the fuck to do to them. My clients don't like clear or whatever. Girl, use them over nude. Trust me. You're welcome. I didn't know this until not too long ago. I didn't have an orange and one of my clients wanted an orange nail painted design, like a little strip. And I was like, fuck, I don't fucking have orange. But I do have a jelly and she had obviously nude nails. And then I was like, hmm, let me try it. And it looked full coverage vibes you know and then i was like oh my god did i just discover something and then i was like okay honey and so this time around i was like okay i want to use these colors on these colorful nails and i put the white base to make them a pop a little bit more right and um so here it is i'm just putting the gels in no specific like pattern or nothing like that but i did Put them in an order where it'll make like rainbow vibes or whatever. I know we don't have red on the nails because I personally do not like red. And happy Pride Month, by the way, because these nails are going to be for Pride Month. Woo -woo -woo. Um, And then, um, what the fuck was I going to say? Okay, so after we cure the nails, um, I like I said... In the life, the day I was in the life, it does not matter if the nail, the colors are not blended or anything like that. Okay, 
trust the fucking process i was like these look like fucking piñatas or whatever right like right now they're not giving no lisa frank shit no vibes of nothing <sighs> so you guys have to trust the motherfucking process at all times even when you think you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing trust trust the final results okay so after i have cured these little spots i'm using my little paint my my ¿cómo se llama? my gel brush so these little black handled um brushes come in a four piece set um the one that's on the napkin is my ultimate favorite gel brush and i also use it to like clean gel like if i get on my skin or anything like that and then this other one is kind of skinny but it's not a liner brush i was using it to um fill in the little spots that i created so i did go ahead and put white spots all over the nails and then i'm going in with the jellies just to make them pop because if you put them directly to the nail they're gonna kind of like not pop as much and so if you guys are gonna try this make sure to put white on them first otherwise they're not gonna pop out of the color as much and be vibrant and true to their color tone again these colors look so much nicer in person they are the jelly the neon jelly collection um i use number two to six and then also number 95 85 is the purple one and then the blue one is the ocean what the fuck is it called i forgot but it's from the other jelly collection the one with no glitter it's so fucking pretty i want to say it's ocean something i don't remember ocean sea or some shit okay so now we're gonna move on to the little outlines of the cheetah prints animal prints whatever the fuck you want to call it and we all the time you guys don't see my hand is because it's curing in the lamp so all the time you put la the layer like the new layer first i did the white cured it in the lamp now i'm doing i did the the little colored spots on top cured it in the lamp now we're gonna do the black little spots and we're gonna cure this in the lamp every few spots because you don't want to mess it up and i was showing them that this is an og triple og dotting tool this was one of my first tools so if you guys have one of these little tools you a fucking og honey but i don't really think a lot of you guys that follow me at the moment had ever seen this one or actually have it because we did have them only for a very limited time um but yeah i was like okay little darling too where'd you come from where'd you come from honey i haven't seen you in a long long time and so i'm just using it to draw the little um cheetahs the cheetah little outlines and the thing with the spots is that they don't have to be perfect just put them like whatever don't over fucking think it because that's one thing that's gonna block your creativity if you overthink your design it will block your creativity and you do not want that because then you're gonna make something ugly i'm telling you from experience i used to overthink everything i feel like women do that well men overthink shit too but as women we kind of overthink we think too much sometimes and because we don't want it to come out like not good right but i'm telling you as an artist don't overthink shit your designs just go with the flow obviously start with a theme or whatever and then go with the flow i had no fucking idea what i was gonna do i just knew it was gonna be like rainbowish with cheetah and zebra how was i gonna put them together i had no fucking idea and so this is how i started to go and for a long time on the live i was i was starting to like question the design i was like honey this is not looking like no fucking lisa frank girl like this is looking like a fucking piñata bitch like you know those little burrito piñatas that um, that are like colorful and shit i was like bitch these are looking like that but then i was like okay okay the zebra stripes are gonna put the final touches to the design and so let's see let's see how that happens okay let me breathe again um so here's another reminder if you guys have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe because Zule is trying to um reach her 100k honey 
and my goal is my goal this year actually for 2023 was to reach my 100k subscribers i know we're halfway through the year but it's not looking like i'm gonna reach it this year hopefully next year but please subscribe if you guys have came and watched more than two videos and you like the vibe and everything please subscribe already why are you playing games with me why 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 <laughs> stop being lazy go click or i know a lot of people don't have like youtube profiles and maybe that could be the reason why you guys haven't subscribed please take the time to just input your little information and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you guys do not miss any lives or any videos or anything like that okay we are going to be friends we are a little family you guys need to support your family and friends with their business and if we are friends you need to subscribe like and comment okay sometimes I'm not really good at commenting. I don't know what the fuck to say. So, 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 la paso. If you guys don't know what to say, it's okay, honey. It's okay. Just put an emoji or whatever. But I do appreciate everybody who takes the time to like my little videos and comment. Zule appreciates you. <sighs> okay. Back to the video. We're still doing fucking spots, bitch. Hurry the fuck up. We're trying to see the zebra. The zebra situation. Honey, I'm supposed to be doing my fucking laundry right now, but I was like, okay, Zule, in order for this video to go up on YouTube by Saturday morning, you need to pause your laundry and do this shit. So, and that's what we're doing here. I think I'm going to go to Dutch Bros after this and give me a cafecito because I kind of need one. I need a little energy. Have you guys tried Dutch Bros, by the way? is new here in my city and i'm an addict um let's see okay hold on it's time to do 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 do, do the lines okay guys yes i used to watch Yu Gi Oh when i was little and i watched it with patrick so if you guys don't know what the hell Yu Gi Oh, it's like a little card game or whatever so it's time for the zebra lines these are my favorite i've always been really good for the most part at animal print and so this is where zule be thriving okay honey i be feeling myself when i do animal print and if you guys do not like animal print you guys better start getting used to this shit and start practicing because i feel like summer this summer animal print is gonna be fucking popping again and not only animal print, but a lot of other trends from like, I don't know, like a long, long time ago um, is coming back. It's coming back. Um, like the flared duck nails. I've been wanting to do a set like that too, the duck nails. And so we're going to be doing something like that in the near future. Right here, I was like, ooh, that the tip was not it. It was not it. If you guys are not happy with uh, the way your nail art comes out, <sighs> Don't be afraid to erase it. That's the good thing about curing in between like the little spots. I cured them. So when I did a wipe, I didn't have to erase it. So yes, yeah, so I was saying every couple of years, the trends repeat themselves. So I used to do a lot of like animal print when I started doing nails about 10 years ago. So whatever was popping, the curved nails is also popping too. So even if you don't like it, because for a long time, I used to be like, fuck that. I ain't gonna fucking do that. If a client asks me, like, I'm gonna have to deny her service or whatever, right? But sometimes you can't be fucking picky. You have to do what your client wants. Of course, you could always decline, but I mean, why? Unless you're like super, super against it, then I could totally see it, but I, I wouldn't mind, I mean, just learn the nail art, honey, just learn it, I'm, at this point, I used to say, like, fuck that, I ain't doing no basic shit, I ain't doing this, I ain't doing that, and look at me now, I'm fucking finally doing it, so that's what I'm telling you, just fucking do it, bitch, just do it, uh, and I say not all money is good money, but this does not apply, that means, like, when your client be a bitch or something, like, she... Like, I hate when clients try to be fucking bitches to a nail tech or just anybody. Like, dude, like, I was just talking to one of my new clients, actually, about um her customers. Because she does, like, a certain service. She doesn't do nails, but I guess they try to act a certain way with her. And I'm like, hell no. So, don't, let, don't ever let no customer ever try to make you feel like they better they better than you or anything like that because you provide a service don't ever let yourself please that's where where not all money is good money okay 
if somebody's trying to like belittle you or fucking make you feel some type of way don't take that shit from nobody okay you stop seeing that person stop servicing them or whatever don't obviously do not fight them or whatever just don't answer them again and okay bye bye girl you want to be a fucking bitch you want to act like a little bitch well no more nail for you honey hey eh? but yeah i just thought about that right now because <sighs> me sueño. Me sueño. i don't know what the fuck i was doing here i think my hand was sweaty or some shit like that but look at the fucking nails bitch i decided to just keep them like this no fucking bling girl no bling no bling because they look perfect it's already been a whole week since i did these nails and can you guys believe i still have them on i have not took them off it's almost gonna be maybe two weeks no just kidding when the fuck did i do my nails i don't remember i think on monday or tuesday i did my nails so it's almost gonna be two weeks and i don't want to take them off but i'm gonna have to because i want to lose something else well i hope you guys <sighs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video so for those of you guys who don't like watching three hour videos i hope you guys actually watch the full thing if you didn't i'm gonna be mad at you i eh, just kidding um like i promised in early this year that i was gonna do a couple more shorter videos i'm still gonna do them okay and just not as often as the longer ones because like i said they do take a long time to edit and all of that shit and zule just don't got the time of day to do that but i promise i'm gonna bring a few more during the year and um have a beautiful day have a beautiful weekend right here i was just showing them how i take my little videos and stuff um but hold on let me crop i was recording with my android and they came out so freaking beautiful if you guys don't have an android honey y'all missing out Nah, just kidding iphones actually do a really good job too but <sighs> with that being said have a beautiful day have a beautiful weekend everybody Thank you guys for watching. And again, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Make sure to come join me on Monday around um, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Whenever I go live in any of my social medias, it's going to be around that time. Why? So lazy, lay because that is my free time. That is after dinner and all that good, good. So that's the only time I have for me to come and hang out you know so again i'll see you guys on monday on my live and have a beautiful saturday and sunday bye